Tonight, a special honor for a World War II hero as family and friends gathered for one final farewell. World War II ace Lieutenant Colonel James Goodson was one of America's most decorated pilots. The 93-year-old passed away just last week, just 11 days after his wife of 62 years. And as Bill Shields shows us, Goodson now will be remembered as a true patriot. In World War II, he was America's ace in the European theater. James Goodson had 30 kills in air-to-air -air combat and became one of the war's most decorated flyers. Really exceptionally good eyesight and reactions, I think, was, was what made him who he was and, and saved his life. Today, James Goodson was laid to rest at the National Cemetery in Bourne. He was 93, a man whose wartime exploits and bravery never defined him. He could talk to anybody and a uh, very unpretentious man and just uh, actually a very pleasant character. Goodson was just 18 when he decided not to wait for America to join the war, so he became a pilot for England's Royal Air Force fighting the Nazis. And when America jumped in, he became a pilot for the Army Air Corps, where he was considered a veteran at the age of 20. The casualties were always with the rookies. I mean, they, but once you had survived four, five, six missions, then you actually became good at it. In his later years, Goodson wrote a book called Tumult in the Clouds and said he was only scared once. And that was from 1939 to 1945. A missing man flyover today for a true American hero. Get born. I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News. Mm.